I'm not doing Honey and Darlings on this cycle. So I've got to choose between two shooting galleries and the doggy racetrack. But I need some money. I don't know how much money the shooting gallery costs. Come on, that grass is really good for making money. You just gotta do it right. It's easier to do if you do it the slow way. Which I guess I'll show you. Because here's the thing, once you hit one of these bushes, they all run away. But if you destroy all the bushes, the last one you destroy... Are you kidding me? The last one I destroyed was supposed to be a red rupee. But maybe that only works if you destroy them all in one attack, which I failed to do there. Okay then. Whatever, I have 55 rupees. Let's go play some archery. There are chests around here that give us a lot of money. I should get those. If you still have time, why don't you try it, Sonny? One game is 20 rupees. Okay. Alright, Sonny. The rules are simple. Hit as many red ones as you can within the time limit. If you hit a blue one, you lose time, so watch out. You can use as many arrows as you'd like. Press B to shoot them. Our highest score is 39. If you break the record, you'll win a spectacular prize. Good luck! blue ones or you'll lose out on time. That one almost got away. Well, I missed two of them there. So we're not getting a perfect score, but as long as we can get 39, we get ourselves a prize. These patterns are always the same, too, so if you get good, you can just memorize them. Alright, I missed two more. I missed, like, six total. But I got enough to get a prize. Well, look at that. You hit 44. That's a new record. Well, here you go. You traded for a large quiver. Now you can carry up to 40 arrows. This may be our last day in business, and you shot pretty well. Well, let's do it again. Let's go for a perfect score. <laughs> it's probably best to stay to one side and then sweep across. So that way if you're in the middle and they're on both sides, you don't have to do as much back and forth. Or, you know, you could just memorize everything, but that'd be ridiculous. Halfway there. Oh, 
Oh, I just barely got that in time. Awesome. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. I just barely missed that last one. Well, I got a new record, so I get some rupees, which allows me to try again. Allows me to try a couple more times. Of course, we are on a time limit here, because the moon is coming. Can't believe I just barely missed that one at the end. Can I just restart now? I don't want to go through all this. Can I exit? I want to hit all the blue ones now. That way I can restart as fast as possible. There we go. So you hit 13, did you? Too bad. Frustrating, ain't it? Wanna try again? Yes! Definitely be pretty difficult, but I was so close on my second try, so I don't think this is going to take me too long. Their hitboxes are at least decently big. Just nine more. And we got it. Perfect score. Huh, no way, that was perfect. Well, here you go. You got a piece of heart. Collect four pieces of heart to assemble a new heart container. Mm. Alright, well now I want to warp over to the southern swamp. There was some archery over there we could do. Let's get over there faster with the bunny hood. Alright, here we are. I don't know how much it costs, but we're here. Hey, <laughs> mate. Oh, uh, you wanna play? It's 20 rupees, just like the other one. The rules to my game are a piece of cake. Shoot for the targets from atop of the platform. You gotta hit them all. That's all there is to it. If you don't aim proper with the control stick, you won't hit any of them. 
Are you ready, mate? Alright, let's get these scrubs. There's also some hidden ones up there on each side. There's some birds to get. Some wolfos. Honestly, I think I find this one easier. Alright, that crow might have gotten away, but that's fine, because we don't need to get a perfect score the first time. Maybe he didn't get away. Get out of here. I'm pretty sure to get the best prize, you want to get a perfect score with at least six seconds left, because you get extra points for time in this. Okay, did we do good enough to get a good prize? Well, looks like you gotta try a bit harder, mate. Wanna play again? I guess it wasn't quite enough. I don't have the rupees, though. I gotta get the rupees. Let's go back to Clacktown. do that little bush thing a couple times. And then maybe instead of the shooting gallery, we go to the doggy racetrack. I feel like the doggy racetrack's gonna be a pain, because a lot of it is luck. Why aren't I getting those? Why are two little bushes getting away there? The thing is, you can't stand directly in the middle because there's a bush in the way. Oh my gosh! Why isn't this working? I'm gonna get this to work, I know it works. Where do I have to stand for this? How are you getting away? I feel like I just need to do the one that's not charged up. Or maybe, oh, maybe it's because this sword is short. That might be the issue. Well, I was trying to... whatever. This might not be the best way to do this right now. I'll go back to the swamp shooting gallery. Because I don't have enough money to do the doggy racetrack. I need 50 for that.
Let's get back over there real quick. I already don't like how long this video is. And I don't want to have to split one into two again. Especially since I feel like we haven't done a whole lot here. I mean, we have. But a lot of it is super optional, like talking to Gossip Stones. Getting that one, there we go. Here's the birds. The birds are honestly a bit hard to get. The birds are called Gways, by the way. If you're curious what they were called. Definitely got to focus a bit on this. I heard those birds, and now I've found them. These birds can really slow you down, because the further they get out, the harder they are to hit. Did I just finish? Oh, no way. Almost at it, mate. Well, just this once. Here you go. What do you mean I almost had it? I mean, you gave me a free game, apparently. You didn't even ask me if I wanted to go again. You just made me. What did I almost have? What's my goal here? I got you, you stupid wolf. You almost got away. Honestly, these birds are the real problem. I've definitely lost just because of those birds there. Here, okay. This one is harder than I remember it being. Oh, these stupid birds. Oh my gosh. Alright, I got a perfect score, but with not a lot of time left. But this should be good enough to get me one of the two prizes here. Well, that's pretty darn good, mate. Perfect. Here you go, take this, mate. You traded for the largest quiver. Now you can hold up to 50 arrows. We've been having a lot of earth lakes lately. It's getting me pretty worried, but I can't leave me shop. No, oh, I'm playing again, because I need to get the other prize here. I don't have enough rupees. Great. Can I get rupees from this? Please? Come on. Just trying to scrounge up enough rupees to play these games is being a problem. And like, I mean, I could pull my money out of the bank. I don't want to do that, because I need money in the bank.
But at this point, honestly, maybe I just should take it. Oh, come on, you didn't spin attack. Spin attacking is so awkward when you're not charging it up. Does the swamp shooting gallery stay open, or does it close at some point? I'm honestly not sure. That was so close! Oh, there, now it gave me the orange rupee. Okay, I'll take it. That gives me two rounds at the swamp shooting gallery. And then I'll probably just pull out money from the bank every time I need to do the doggy racetrack. Also, there's totally treasure chests I could be opening that I keep forgetting exist. I should totally open those treasure chests. Why am I doing this to myself? I should definitely just open the treasure chest. Alright, let's give this another go. Try to go for perfect with enough time left. I'm pretty sure it's gotta be six seconds. We really wanna take care of these birds immediately. Birds and the wolves can be a little bit of a problem too, but especially the birds. I feel like I'm doing really good now though. Okay, yeah, we've definitely got this. I've been doing so good. There we go! Look at how much time we have left. That's insane. Well, that's pretty darn good, mate. Perfect. Here you go, take this, mate. You got a piece of heart. You've collected two pieces so far. Collect two more to extend your life energy. We've been having a lot of earthquakes. Yep, you've told me this. Let's get out of here. I'll pull, like, tw I'll pull 25 rupees out of the bank. Or maybe I'll, I'll go for the grass one more time. And then I'll pull what I still need out of the bank. I think I'm gonna want to actually have a hundred rupees now that I think about it. I need anywhere from 50 to 100 rupees when I go to the doggy racetracks, and it won't hurt to have extra. 
At least I don't think it will. Yeah, I don't know why it's not giving me the red rupee there. Oh well. I guess let's take out uh, 66 rupees, it looks like. And then we'll warp. And once I go there, I need to check for gossip stones in the area, too. This is the wrong way, this is the, yeah, this is the Gorman stuff. I get so turned around there. Alright. Gotta run all the way to the other side of Romani Ranch to get to the doggy racetrack. Feels more like a Link racetrack or maybe a bunny racetrack given the hood. Oh, there's also a dog here. I, I suppose I could see what this dog is thinking. <laughs> Ruff, I wonder if my cute-faced owner will let me quit practicing yet. There's also a dog I could talk to in Clacktown. But we're not in Clacktown, are we? Alright, I'm gonna do a quick lap, just like the dogs, just to look for gossip stones. There seems to be one here. A mystical stone! What does it say? It seems that drinking Chateau Romani makes your magic power last for three days. So, basically infinite magic in the context of this game. Infinite magic until you reset the cycle. What do you want on a day like this? This is uh, Mamamu Yan's doggy racetrack, didn't you know that? If you want to try a dog race, the minimum bet is 10 rupees. Will you still try? Yes. Huh. Then first, go and fetch the doggy you think will run the fastest and bring it here. Romani Ranch presents Dog Race 500, sponsored by Mamamu Yan. Choose a dog, place a bet, and win rupees if your dog places first through fifth. Minimum bet, ten rupees. First, triple your bet. Second, double your bet. Third through fifth, keep your bet. Win up to 150 rupees per race. Special gifts awarded for larger winnings. So yeah, we want to bet 50 rupees and then have our dog win, basically. Rough. Oh yeah, I feel unstoppable. I don't think I'll lose. Well, that's immediately a good message. The blue dog here usually does really bad. Rough, today I should do pretty well. No, you won't. Don't lie to me. Rough, today I should do pretty well. I'm going with this supposedly unstoppable guy. Also, we need to bring a magic bean here. Whee! Whee! 
Is that doggy fine? Yes. If the dog you brought me takes first place, you get triple your bet. Second place gets double. If the dog you've chosen places third through fifth, you'll break even and back and get back however much you bet. If your dog does any worse than that, you'll lose whatever you bet. How much will you bet? 50. 50 rupees then, right? Yep. All right, go doggy, go. So he's not doing great starting off, but it looks like he might start to pull ahead. Am I gonna get lucky on the first one? Oh, come on, go doggy, go! Alright, he's not getting first, but he's at least breaking even- Whoa, the blue dog was in the middle? The blue dog is always, like, dead last by a mile. Oh, almost. Well, I'll give you back the amount you put down. Want to play again? Yes! Now what do you guys have to say? Ruff, my four paws feel lighter than usual today. That could be a winner. Ruff, oh yeah, I feel unstoppable. I don't think I'll lose. So that, that could definitely be the winner. I want to see some of the negative messages. Where are they? I don't feel much different from usual. Who whine? Oh, my belly hurts. Ugh, I feel terrible. That's a negative one there. Poor dog. I should do all right. Hey, Blue, what's going on with you? Oh, don't give me the winning message. I'm here for my wife and child. There's no way I'll lose. But you're blue. You always lose. This is giving me mixed messages. I'm too old for this. My right leg hurts. The hind one. My head, I stayed up too late. I shouldn't have been barking at that moon all night. I'm bothered that Blue is giving me the winning message when he's always terrible. How do I dare bet on Blue? I really don't want to. Because I know it's a stupid idea. But he gave us the winning message. I'll go with the unstoppable one again. I don't trust betting on blue. Yeah, this doggy's fine. I'll bet 50. Again, he's starting a little behind. Blue is actually doing good, but surely he's gonna fall. Yeah, he's falling behind. I'm curious to see how well Blue does overall. Blue's falling behind hard. But will my doggy pull ahead? Come on. Ah, uh, you got second. Ugh. How long are we gonna be here? Sweet hounds of happiness, you took second. That's amazing. You win double the amount of your bet, a hundred rupees. Do you want to play again? Sure. I don't think it matters if I can carry the amount of rupees I win. I'm pretty sure. So I think this is still fine. 
I'm tired. I'm gonna take the day off tomorrow. Can dogs do that? Man, when does this place close? Because it might be about to. My four paws feel lighter than usual today. Come on. I think I'm about to get kicked out. That's that same message, and I don't have time to find one with a different good message. I didn't mean that. I want 50. I want to bet 50, okay? I could bet 100 and then get double and win 200, but I want my dog to win first, darn it. Why is Blue doing so good? I don't understand. Yeah, get on the inside. Then you can pull ahead. Are you in the lead? Yes. Go, go doggy, go! Night of the final day, 12 hours remain. Well, take me for a walk and call me Spot. You took first place. First place! You win triple the amount of your bet. That's 150 rupees. No, no, nice going. You've won over 150 rupees. So I have to give you a bonus prize, too. Over 100 rupees? When it was 150... Yeah, over 150 rupees when it was 150 rupees? I don't know about your math unless you count the other times I won. You got a piece of heart. You've collected three pieces so far. Collect one more to extend your life energy. Do you want to play again? No. I really don't. Man, this video is so long! Why must it be so long, but... I still have things to do. Am I gonna have to split this into two like that other one? I might have to. I need to go back to Clock Town. I want to show the Happy Mask Salesman my two new masks, and I want to deposit my money. The quickest way to the mountains is through the north gate. You're supposed to say that when I go back in time, but because I'm going to the happy mask salesman, you're saying it now. Mm -hmm. That mask. Mm -hmm. That is the mask of truth, isn't it? You have a frightful mask, but being able to see into people's hearts and minds seems useful. Unfortunately, that's not the mask I am looking for. You had the mask of truth before. Keep up that pace, I'm counting on you to get my mask. Yeah, you had this back in Ocarina of Time. Same goes for the bunny hood. Mm -hmm. That mask. That is the mask of sense, isn't it? You've done well to get that mask. Looking at its condition, I can tell that its previous owner was neat and tidy. Unfortunately, that's not the mask I'm looking for. Keep up that pace, I'm counting on you to get my mask. Okay, let's deposit our money and do one last set of mini games. Why is the clock tower suddenly a lighthouse? I've just noticed.
Okay, let's deposit everything. And let's reset time. Because Honey and Darlings is one of those mini games that's gonna. that's gonna require us winning on all three days. Just like the. Deku Scrub Playground. Dawn of the first day, okay. I don't want to withdraw money from the bank. So let's just go get like a, tr a good treasure chest. I don't know if I should be slowing the flow of time. I don't know when Honey and Darlings opens. Let's go check. They're open right away, so let's get some money. There's some easy money right over here. Alright, how much was this again? 100 rupees, good. Let's head into Honey and Darlings and see what they've got in store for day one. <laughs> Looks like we have a visitor, Honey. Wonder if it's a customer, Darling. Oh, would you like to play? Today is Bamchu Gallery Day, isn't it, Darling? <laughs> One game is 10 rupees, I'll play. Hit <laughs> each target with a bomb chew in the time it takes us to dance through one song. But if you fall off this platform, you're out, right, darling? Are you ready? Start the music. You're also out if you hit them too much. Okay, so I missed my first shot, but I got the second. I'd say I'm doing pretty good at this. Oh man, it picked up speed. Why did it pick up speed? So I just need these three targets, huh? That's easy enough, I did it. Perfect. <laughs> Did you see that, honey? He got a perfect score. We have to share our happiness with him, honey. You got a purple rupee. It's worth 50 rupees. Your face is beaming. That's annoying, so let's show off even more for him, darling. Alright, while I'm at it, why don't I go, you know, play the lottery? This is the wrong way to the lottery. If Honey and Darlings is gonna take us three days, then let's find out the winning numbers for all three days of the lottery. Thank you. 
All right, let's find out what the winning numbers are for day one. Night of the first day. The winning numbers for day one are... Yeah, we shall now announce the winning numbers. Your numbers are 111. Today's winning numbers are 752. Too bad. If you wish to buy a ticket, you can buy one tomorrow morning at 6 o'clock. Come again. So 752. I'm gonna actually note that down. All right, now let's go on to the next day. <laughs> First off, let's head back to Honey and Darlings. Because that's the most important thing here. So this time, what's our mini game? <laughs> It looks like we have a visitor, honey. I wonder if it's a customer, darling. Oh, are you the one who got a perfect score yesterday? Would you like to play again? Today is Basket Bomb Day, isn't it, darling? One game is ten rupees. I'll play. Get a bomb inside every basket The in the time it takes us to dance through one song. If you throw with too much power, you'll fall off the platform, so be careful, right, darling? Are you ready? Start the music! So this one's pretty easy, as long as you don't run off the platform. Excuse me? Yeah, the bombs, like, sometimes they bounce out, but sometimes it almost seems like they're drawn into the basket, like, right there. But yeah, this platform's going a little faster now. But we've won. Just like that. <laughs> Did you see that, honey? He got a perfect score. We have to share our happiness with him, honey. You got a purple rupee. It's worth 50 rupees. Your face is beaming. That's annoying. Let's show off even more for him, darling. Now let's go do the lottery one more time. Go buy our ticket. So the day one winning numbers are 752. What are our day two winning numbers? We've bought our ticket, let's fast forward time again. Oh, 
Okay, so now let me know, what are the winning numbers? Nine, six, seven. All right, got them noted down. So now let's go forward in time and do one more Honey and Darling and one more Lottery. And then I will be done recording for the day. I've only recorded one out of three days so far this week, and my voice is already feeling kind of rough. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this whole game in one week. Seems a bit demanding. Okay, final day of Honey and Darlings. We already know we need a bow for this, because we checked earlier. <laughs> Looks like we have a visitor, honey. I wonder if it's a customer, darling. Oh, are you the one who got a perfect score two days in a row? Do you want to play again? Today is target shooting day, isn't it, darling? One game is ten rupees. <laughs> Hit all the targets in the time it takes us to dance through one song. But if you fall from this platform, you're out, isn't he, darling? Are you ready? Start the music. How am I gonna fall when I'm doing archery, huh? This one's the easiest one by far. Although this is the one where you can, like, actually hit them. So they'll actually get in your way now. But it's super easy. Like, it's ridiculous. Perfect! Ha <laughs> ha honey, he, he got a perfect score three days in a row. This is all we have left to give him, honey. You got a piece of heart. You've assembled a new heart container. Your maximum life energy has been increased. I didn't read that out loud, but you can read it. We'll just fail one more lottery to get the winning numbers again. And then I'll be free! This is definitely gonna have to be split into two videos, because it's the length of two videos. All right. Going for triple ones again. It's gonna be it this time. I'll also... No, I'll just fast forward through time right now. I kind of want to show a room in town that you don't normally get to see. And I'm not sure what time it has to be for that. I don't know if it just has to be night of the final day or if it needs to be the final six hours. So I'll speed up time just to be safe here so that we won't have to wait too long to see it. What are the winning numbers? It's 729. Okay. Got them all recorded. Ah. 
So, what's it look like in here? He is still fine. Rumors are spreading which suggest the moon is falling, but you can breathe easier as long as I am in town. Tonight I shall cut the moon into pieces. If one does not have such skill, he cannot teach the way of the sword to others. If you wish to be as powerful as I am, then I shall teach you until night time. So will you try it? No thanks. Is that true? Regrettable. Truly regrettable. So, I need to deposit my money. The, d the money deposit place was actually back where I was. And while I'm waiting for time to pass, why don't I get some more money? So we know we can get some easy money here. No, we can't because we don't have the moons here. Well, I'll go for this quick since I'm here. Of course, they're not giving me any red. Oh, well. Why is it that, like, the kids don't evacuate? It's like there's something wrong with the fact that all these kids are still here. Alright, so if we go in here, we should be able to get an easy 100 rupees, because uh, I don't know if we have bombs, but if we don't, we at least have the blast mask. Yep, good thing we've got the blast mask. So there's a good hundred rupees. I don't really want to go through all of like the, you know, the other stuff at the observatory right now. I kind of want to just end this video as fast as possible. So I guess I'll just try through these bushes one more time, and then I'll go deposit my money again. Ow. I meant to get my sword out there. Let's get that mask out of here. No, I tried to put that. No, I can't. I needed to take the mask off. All right. Why can't I do this? I'll keep trying, I guess. 
I want to be able to do this, and I need to wait a little bit in order to show that one room that I'm never going to remember to show again. There we go. I'll give it one more go just because I've still got time. And wallet space. There we go, I'm getting it down a little bit. Also, if you look around, you'll notice that places that used to have heart containers now just have single hearts. If you look up in that tree. Anyways, the bank is over this way. We're not quite going to be at a thousand yet. Hundred ninety one, all right. Now let's wait for midnight to hit, and then I'm gonna go into this room, and there will be another room I can go into. There we go, final six hours. Then you can actually climb up here. I'll be on vacation for a short while, please don't look for me. Oh, I'm gonna look for you. There he is, and he's all scared, and rightfully so, honestly. Oh no. Now I have more money to put into the bank, do I care enough? Ugh, I'm scared. I can't take it. I don't want to die. So yeah, that's really dark, but it is really cool that you can actually go back here when you're in the final six hours. But a lot of you watching never knew you could go back there. Ah, the bank is right here. I'll do it. Even though I really just want to finally end the episode. What's this? You need something on a day like this? You haven't evacuated yet? You're amazing, little guy. You haven't evacuated yet, either. You're praising me for something that you're doing, but I guess you're saying it's because I'm a little guy. That you're impressed. But like so many other people evacuated. Anyways, it is finally time to play the song of time and end the video. Which this is, this is definitely gonna be two videos. I'm done recording for the day, this will save my game. This is it for the video, and in the next video, we will be going to the mountains up to the north. I'm the Terminian Hero, and I will see you then.